Hi guys and welcome back to another installment of Secret Graceland number 43. Today we will be looking at some photos of Elvis, his family and friends at Graceland, all from the 1960s, the only full decade Elvis spent there. If you haven't yet seen the 1950s video I did, check that out. So we are going to take a look at each photo, then that spot today. Comparing then and now is one of my favorite things ever, and I scoured my files and selected these photos that stuck out to me. So let's jump in. We are starting our tour right outside the famous gates. Here is a nice color look in the very early days of Elvis's first cousins, Billy and Bobby Smith. They are standing where it was still dirt in front of the new brick wall. Here is that spot today. Turning just a bit to the right, here is the boy's dad, Elvis's uncle Travis Smith, Gladys Presley's brother. Again, this whole area was just dirt in that spot now. If this doesn't look familiar, it's because it's a view fans only saw between 1957 and 1970. This was the original guard shack on the property. Like we talked about in the last episode, Graceland then and now 1950s, Elvis gave his friend Gary Pepper's dad Sterling a job as a gate guard. Sterling Pepper died in this guard shack in the summer of 1970. The wooden one was replaced with the brick one that we see today around 1970. Elvis is careening by on his golf cart. That was right here, right next to the stone wall. Let's go up to the front of the mansion and take a look at a few photos taken out here. We don't see this today. Taken in August of 1965, this is the breezeway connecting the music room to the trophy building. The trophy building was built that year, so originally, this is how that middle part looked that connected the two spaces. That's the corner of the house on the left, the edge that is the music room. It had this aluminum or metal siding and a green top. Some of this is still there. Let's see that spot now. It's a more permanent structure with a real roof, but some of that metal siding is still there. We can see beyond the tree. There's the trophy building on the right, that tan brick building. Another great photo from August 1965 of the front of the house. You can even see that green breezeway roof in the background next to the music room. The house looks virtually the same today. Here we see the lion, the wrought iron bench, and a red gazing ball inside the decorative vase. Today, it's exactly the same. The decorative vase hold plants today, but these are Elvis's actual benches that you can sit on and take a picture. Going inside the house, you might have seen this photo of Priscilla from the late 60s. I think Elvis took this one actually. This is from the same day of the footage of her slowly walking down the main staircase. See the door behind her and the blue curtain? She is standing at this staircase landing, probably just about to descend the stairs. Next, let's go into the living room and look at two incredible peaks into 1963 in two photos shared with us fans by collector Fred Hubry. Here is a gorgeous look at a day in the life at Graceland in the living room. Isn't this amazing? And it looks so similar today and another from the opposite end of the room that we get to see on the tour. There's plenty to notice here, so I created a separate video all about this one photo when it recently surfaced online. You can check it out in the link up here at the top and also in the description box below. And here is that view today. Also taken in this room is this famous photo of Elvis pictured playing his bass seated on the couch in this shot by the Commercial Appeal. It is one of my all-time favorites of Elvis at Graceland and of the house itself. This crystal clear photo is a stunning look into life at Graceland in 1965. And that same exact spot today. We're bouncing around on the timeline, but we're going in order of the tour path. So next on the tour is the music room beyond the living room. In 1960, a fraternity called the TKE presented an award to Elvis, and he hosted his guests in Graceland's music room. I created a video all about this event. You can watch it up here in the link or in the description box below. In this photo, a couple of the fraternity brothers are standing around Elvis and he's kneeling down signing things for them. You'll probably recognize the TV behind him and that's how we can see where they are. Just a few years later in 1963, this awesome photo was taken and shared with us by Fred Hubry. This photo is from the same angle as the photo we just saw. The TV has been taken out of the room and stored away and this piano is now moved into that spot. But some other of the furniture might be familiar, like the gold couch on the left and the gold and white coffee table. Then here is that very room today with many of the timeless pieces of the 50s and 60s. 
Let's take our tour down the hall to Elvis's grandma Minnie Mae's former bedroom. This was taken by Jimmy Velvet. That's Gary Pepper, Elvis's fan and friend, and Elvis's grandma in her chair. They are sitting inside this downstairs bedroom that we can see on the tour. Fast forward a couple years to the late 60s and baby Lisa came along. Here she is sitting on her great grandmother's bed cracking up. See the headboard and lamp in the background? Here's another where they propped her up on the pillows. She's here in this bedroom on this very bed that has been reupholstered, but this is the same one. Next up is another incredible photo from inside the dining room circa 1963. This is another Fred Hoopery share from the corner of the dining room that us fans don't get to walk in. When this first surfaced a couple of years ago, we got a look at totally new angles and furniture that we'd never seen before. So of course, they made a video all about this and another new dining room photo. You can check it out in the link here at the top and in the description box. And here is somewhat of that view today. Another photo from 1963 that has been floating around out there for some time is this one taken from the back of the dining room of Priscilla halfway into the kitchen. This time we are in color and we can see all the way through to the music room. Then here is that exact view today. Beautiful. Our tour is now going into the kitchen to look at some newly surfaced, fascinating looks into the kitchen in the 1960s. Fred Hubri shared these next two gems with us a couple of years ago. Here's Dee Presley, Vernon Presley's second wife, at the forefront, 18-year-old Priscilla in the back, seated inside the kitchen eating breakfast. Now here is that same spot now. It's not the same countertop, appliances, or cupboards. Elvis did remodeling soon after, but this is where that photo was taken. Next, a photo of Vernon having his breakfast. Yes, this is Graceland. At this point, 1963, the kitchen was the end of the house. The jungle room didn't exist yet. Those windows overlooked the backyard and that door behind him went into the hall. Vernon was sitting at the threshold of the kitchen doorway where Priscilla and Lisa are standing in this photo from 2012. That door behind him went into this hallway. If you wanna learn more about what can be seen in these two photos and how the kitchen layout was before the jungle room was added, guess who made a video on it? Yep, yours truly. It can be found in the link up here and in the description box below. Now we're going to explore the basement in the 1960s. Here's a photo of the mirrored staircase down to the basement in the early 60s. I don't know who that man is, but here's 18-year-old Priscilla peeking in from the doorway. This is another from the amazing collection of Fred Hoobery. You probably have a photo from this staircase on the tour. Here's mine. Today, when we reach the basement TV room, it has a distinct blue and yellow theme but that was remodeled in 1974. What did it look like before that? Here is the basement back in the 1960s. This is where Elvis had his gold records that he acquired and just one TV at this point. It was a very nice, cozy space. See that 10 speaker squares on the bottom left? Now here is that view today. A lot was moved around and the colors are totally different, but those 10 squares remain. In March 1960, Elvis met with a DJ and fan club president in the basement TV room, featured TCB Den, and took a few pictures. These give us some of the very few glimpses this far back into this space and how it was decorated before the big changes of the 1970s. Take a look at the art on the left of this man. That's the projector screen. Now here is that space now and what we recognize from the tour. So much has changed, but that art on the projector screen stayed the same all these years. Now we are taking our tour up to the jungle room, but since it's the 60s, the family refers to it as the den. In 1967, Elvis threw Priscilla a surprise 22nd birthday party right here in this room in 1967. There was a video taken at that birthday, and we'll be looking at a couple stills from it. If you want an in-depth analysis, I go into a lot more detail in a secret Graceland titled Birthday Party in the Jungle Room in the link up here at the top and also in the description box below. In that home movie, it pans around the room at Minnie Mae sitting here on this red chair. There's a green glass behind her as well as some other telltale features that show where this was taken. Now here is where that was. Grandma was sitting on a chair where this furry bench is today. In a different part of the room, Joe Esposito is waiting for a slice of cake. Behind him is a stone wall with a wooden statue perched up high. 
Now here is what that portion of the room looks like today. While we're still in the same area, there is a few photos from years earlier. Elvis and Vernon are standing in a screened in porch and none of this is recognizable. Not the structure or even the furniture. After 1965, this space was built into the den or jungle room as we know it today. Skipping around in time again, here is Priscilla and friends dressed up for a formal event. During the time that she lived at Graceland, the den had red carpet and red floral curtains. See the door with windows behind them? They are all standing in front of this back door here that has been brown since the jungle theme. In 1968, the Presleys made an addition to their family and there are some great photos to show her off. This photo was taken in their home of the three seated on the couch with wood paneling in the background. Notice how there's an angle of the paneling that goes up the side, all the way on the right side above the bar stools. The family was sitting in the middle of the den, or jungle room as we know it, with the staircase in the background. Let's go off to the side under the carport. Here's a gorgeous photo of the pink Cadillac parked under the carport. To me, it's a museum artifact, so it's kind of funny to see it parked here. Back then, it was just a regular car. Beyond this, we can see that screened-in porch, and the garage still had doors, even though it was already renovated into the annex apartment. Here is my photo of that spot from a few months ago, going on a UVIP tour. I just wanted to remember what this area of the house looked like. I didn't realize I was recreating several photos from many decades prior. In March 1970, Elvis came back from the army and gave a press conference at Graceland. Just before they headed inside the office, this photo was taken outside his dad's office. Elvis was standing right here. Next, we're going inside the trophy building to look at some special photos. This is what the trophy building was originally made for, Elvis's new hobby of slot cars and to house his enormous track. This is taken from the back of what is now the main exhibit space facing the swimming pool. For years, this was the only photo I'd ever seen of the room from back then. Recently, I came across this gem on Billy Stanley's Facebook. I don't know who it belongs to, but I wanna give credit to where it came from. This is an incredible view of the space and it shows how massive this track was. See the door in the back left? Here is a smidge of how that space looks like today. Elvis got over the slot cars pretty quickly and this room evolved over time. Today, it houses artifacts and climate controlled cases. In May of 1967, Elvis and Priscilla held their second wedding reception in this very space. Here is a photo from that party. This was for all their friends and family that couldn't make the actual wedding in Las Vegas. But us fans on the tour walk right past this spot that they're standing on the tour path. That spot is right here where this TV is displayed on this little platform today. Another photo I wanted to discuss that was taken in here is this amazing photo of Elvis, Priscilla, and Gary Pepper from the couple's second wedding reception held in this very room. If you don't know who Gary Pepper is, he was a huge fan and became a friend invited into the inner circle. He also happened to have cerebral palsy. I've created a handful of videos all about Gary and Elvis and I'm working on a few more. Anyway, the horse decor above them and the strip of wallpaper to the right of that, here's a photo of the room in the mid 70s. To the left, there's the couch with the horse above it and the strip of wallpaper. Also, see to the right of the couch, a post sticks out of the wall and has something black running down it. Today, this is that wall inside the trophy building. It looks totally different. But see that post that sticks out of the wall in the middle? Although there is now a case built into the wall to the left of that, this is where that gold couch was, where Elvis posed with Gary all those years ago. On the tour, once we exit the trophy building, we head to the racquetball building. But since that wasn't yet built in the 1960s, let's head over to the pool. Speaking of the trophy building, this is what that whole space looked like before this was even built. This is the early 60s and one of the clearest of this area to understand it better. This was taken by Jimmy Velvet and published in his book, Inside the Dream. There's the pool right in the front, the upper patio area where the trophy building was built right on top of. See that white part of the house with the pointed roof and double doors? That's the music room. Back then, Elvis could come down to the pool through there. So on the pool level, see that half brick wall straight ahead and the white wrought iron above it? This is where Grandma Minnie Mae, Dee Presley, and some other friends are hanging out in this photo. I love this one. This is one of my favorites from the 1960s. 
that brick still exists. And now this area looks like this. Getting an even better look at the entire space from the early 1960s, this amazing shot was shared by collector Fred Hubry. This young lady is standing in the future meditation garden next to the original fountain back when this was just a simple garden. It's interesting how back then it was mostly grass with walkways, and here is that same view today. In 1966, Elvis, Priscilla, and their friends Jerry Schilling and Sandy Coelho posed for some photos in the meditation garden. There are four stained glass windows in the brick wall surrounding the garden, and the friends stood in front of the one on the far right, with a white circle at the bottom that kind of looks like an eye. Here is where they were all standing. Lastly, they were all also pictured near the front of the garden in a more casual shot. Jerry and Sandy are distracted. Elvis and Priscilla are looking ahead. Elvis is standing in front of one of the four decorative metal pots built into the raw iron surrounding the fountain. And that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.